I built this massive aircraft carrier in my hardcore world that's complete with a massive guardian farm that generates over 650,000 items an hour, a gigantic captured guardian on board the boat, and even a TNT cannon that launches me into space. Holy sh Dude. And over these three weeks, it only took me a hundred hours. I say that like, like it's supposed to sound easy. There's also a ton more secrets on board. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys find them all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, the very first thing I need to do is build a guardian farm. And for that, I need an ocean mod. Here we go, here's one. And this one's good because it's pretty close to my redstone factory, which might come in handy later. Now the first step for building this guardian farm is completely draining this area. Which may sound daunting at first, but luckily I have a super powerful gravity duper and furnace array that generates me as much sand and as much glass as I could possibly need. So I grabbed a ton of it and built a big ring around the monument. Okay, now I need to turn this ring into a big glass wall that goes all the way to the seafloor. And I gotta do that without dying to the guardians. Which I don't think should be a problem, I'm pretty far away from the temple. This is gonna take forever though, so let's get started. Okay, now that I'm done building all of these walls, I need to now drain out this entire area using a ton of sponges. And if you didn't know, sponges are actually found inside ocean monuments, so let's see if there's any in here. They're usually at the center near the top. Yeah, I don't think there's any in this one. Okay, I guess I'll fly to other ocean monuments and see if I can find some. I want to get at least a stack. Okay, I think I got enough. Okay, now I just use sand to build a big wall that goes all the way across the circle. And now we repeat that all the way across the pit. Oh, this is taking forever. But we're done with the sea temple part, so at least no more guardians will spawn and try and kill me while I'm doing this. Now I just have the rest of the circle to do. Okay, finally done draining the entire monument. Only took me three days. Next, what we need to do is flatten out this entire area to just below the monument, probably on this level here. And to do that, I need a beacon, because I need haste too, because this is going to take way too long if I don't have it. So we can use this neat little trick. So first, I need some wither skeleton skulls, some soul sand, and we have some obsidian. Now, if you didn't know this, there's this really neat trick you can do, where if you put a cross like this and place your wither, the guy should just get trapped. Then I just do that till I have eight nether stars because that's all I'm probably gonna need. Then we craft them up like this. Now we just need to flatten this whole area out. I also brought the glass walls down on the same level so that all of the walls would be the same height. Okay, now I have to destroy the ocean monument in the middle. I think the easiest way to do that is just to craft up a bunch of TNT, load it all on the inside, and then blow it up. Oh sh- Oh my god. Ow! Jesus Christ. Well, I, uh, I think that did the trick. Oh crap, I blew some holes in the wall. Let me fix those up. Now I just gotta cover up this hole so we have this whole area completely flat. Next up, I'll grab some gray and red concrete powder, and I'll cover this entire circle with concrete. Putting my logo in the middle, because I thought it was a nice touch. And you know, branding, branding's important. The next step was to build a big square as the base of the farm, and then take down the coordinates in the center, and then find those coordinates in the nether. I gotta build the nether side first, because as I build up the side in the overworld, guardians are gonna start flooding through this portal. And if I don't have this side built, then it's gonna get pretty much uncontrollable, and that could be a disaster. So, we start with this portal, and now I need to get materials to build the killing chamber and the storage system. The materials weren't too bad, just some redstone items and some glass and chests. Now we just build it up and connect it to the portal. All right, all done. And you may be thinking, to finish this farm, I just have to build some portals and put some water in between them. Yeah, no. First, I have to build two portals, then fill them with water sources using kelp plants. Then I have to put this row of stairs and then a row of dirt blocks, break the dirt blocks so that the water flows properly, and then repeat that 18 times. Finally, after 11 hours of building, the farm is done. Now to just see if it works. Now, moment of truth, the big reveal. Holy sh**. 
I think it's working. And after just one hour of running the farm, I already have over a hundred thousand items in the storage system. Okay, and the next step for this project is building our aircraft carrier, which I want to have another portal inside of that connects pretty much to the storage system so that I can walk straight up to it without having to go through my portal in my house, which is way over there. And to build this boat, we're going to need over a hundred thousand blocks. This thing is massive. Starting first with 20,000 gray concrete powder or 12 shulker boxes. And if you remember earlier, I got a bunch of gray concrete powder for the floor of the guardian farm. So I went ahead and also got a bunch extra so that I wouldn't have to, you know, wait for my duper to run again. So we'll take this. And I think I'm gonna build the ship right here, so I'll put a little platform so that we can load all our materials in. Okay, next on our list is 15,000 stone, or roughly nine shulker boxes. So we can run our super fast cobblestone farm for a little bit, and then we run it through our super smelter, and now we have our stone. Okay, next up we need 14,000 stone bricks. So let's grab some more cobblestone again, smelt it up again, and then craft them into stone bricks. Next up, we got gray concrete and orange concrete, which both just come out of the duper and concrete factory. Now 7,000 quartz blocks and 4,000 quartz slabs, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not that bad. And the last thing we need a ton of is 6,000 orange terracotta, which we can get from insta-mining this mountain. And that was all the items that I needed like a ton of. Everything else was just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, mainly for adding detail to the boat. Okay, we finally have everything so we can start building the ship. But first, I need to drain just a small part of this water because, of course, boats are in the water. And it's just going to be really hard to build a large portion of it underwater. So let's drain it out first, and then we can actually start building the thing. Now we build up all these sand walls. And then once again, we use our sponges to just drain this entire thing. Okay, we're finally done with the trench. Now, before we start building the ship though, I actually wanna add some decor to the farm itself, specifically around these glass walls because they kinda just look bad. I think it'll be nice if we put maybe a ring on top and on the bottom a little bit, and then maybe some angled hashes that go across to make it look more supported, I guess. So I grabbed some concrete and some sea lanterns and added those designs to the farm. Now we can add these diagonal hashes all the way around. Okay, we're done. And yeah, this definitely looks a lot better. Last touch on this farm, I wanna put like an elevator here so that when we're finished with the boat, we can have like a tunnel and have instant access to the bottom here if we have to, you know, do maintenance or something like that. But first, there's a skeleton horse over there. When I get close to it... Yep. Oh wait, they're just gonna fight each other. Okay, no, they're not. Okay, let's build our elevator. And to do that, some observers, note blocks, honey, repeaters some slime blocks, and some pistons. Okay, and we'll cut out this part here. Remove these blocks as well. And then we place these like this. And then we repeat this segment going to the top. And then finally, boom, boom, boom. Break this, break this. And we should be good. Uh, let's give it a test. It works. Then if I go back down, just hit this button and we're good. Awesome. Okay, now the next course of action is just to cover this up so it looks nice. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. Now we can start building the boat. Okay, and I think I'm gonna build the bottom of the hull first, and then once we're above sea level, I can remove this casing and let the water flow in, because obviously we're not leaving this. This looks disgusting. So, let's get started. Okay, done with the hull. Now we mine away this entire thing. I set up some beacons to make it a little bit faster, so hopefully this doesn't take all day. <laughs> Surely it won't, right? Okay, two hours later and I'm finally done removing the entire box that was holding back the water and everything just flowed into place pretty perfectly. And you know, it did kind of just occur to me that I probably could have gotten away with building the hull underwater and then using the sand and sponges to drain it afterwards. <sighs> I'm so dumb uh but whatever anyway time to do the second layer which is the aircraft hangar and also where we'll have the portal that will access the storage for the farm so back to work
All right, we're finished with the hanger. The build's really starting to come together now. I love the way the ceiling looks. The design is just these little things give so much detail. Okay, next we got to build a portal that connects to the storage room. And I think I want the portal to be right here. So we'll use the subsidian first. And then I'll take down the coordinates in the very center. And then light the portal. Oh, uh, I think it's too wide. This has got to be pretty close to how big the portals in the farm are, right? This should be good, right? Okay, good. Hopefully I don't teleport into the farm. Oh, perfect. Destroy this portal. And then go to these coordinates on the roof. Negative 46, negative 97. Which is right here. Build up the portal. And now they should both be linked. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Oh, perfect. I always get so scared because I usually have problems linking up portals properly, but this works. Awesome. <laughs> we take out these edges really quickly since obviously we don't need to waste the subsidian. Okay, now what I want to do on this side is of course the portal's there where the storage is here. Ideally, I'd love to have the portal like right here or something, but that doesn't really work out with the overworld connections. But what we're going to do is kind of turn this thing and this thing into another factory, kind of like the one from my last video. But this one will be of course a sea lantern factory. If you don't know what this is, by the way, this is the lava side to the raid farm that I built in last video that catches the ravagers. So this has nothing to do with this, but it's just right here. So I might as well encase it and make the whole thing look nice. So it doesn't just look like all this exposed redstone. You know, I like to have some character to my builds so that it looks good. And I really like those factory designs. I like that concept that a cookie God created. I think it's way cooler than just having like basic redstone farms. So shout out to cookie God. I love that guy. Okay. The materials I'm going to need for this factory casing are just like a bunch of Wait, Hold on a sec. We might have an issue boys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, uh, bro, how, how, how uh, the portals are linked properly though. How is this happening? Oh my god, this is a disaster. Okay, wait, there's got to be a way to fix this, right? Okay, I'm gonna start up the farm. Okay, this might be an actual nuclear disaster, like a nuclear disaster, like a bomb is about to go off, like some Oppenheimer. Sh right? Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Oh, I gotta shut it down. Okay, I gotta shut it down. What the? F <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fly away, and then I'll come back, because this will despawn all the enemies. They're coming out of both things, bruh. Okay, there is a simple solution to this, and then there's a more complicated solution, okay? Okay, the simple solution is I remove some of these portals, because it's definitely, like, it's not the whole farm, because some of them are coming through the other portal, but it's, like, a couple of these portals. That's the simple solution. I'd rather not do that, because then the farm will literally just generate less loot, and, you know, I want it to be, like, as fast as possible. But it's not a big deal, right? I have to AFK a little bit longer, and this already generates so many resources that if, it, if I had to cut the rates down by 30 or 40 percent it would not even be a big deal the more complicated solution is maybe I make this portal thinner because maybe these portal frames are connecting with that which is like bro I don't I don't understand how portals work oh my god it's getting really bad uh I'm gonna try first making the portal thinner because I'd rather just do that first I have to despawn the guardians and then break this Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh my God. There's so many of them. It's like an ant. It's like, have you ever kicked an anthill? This is what it looks like. It's like when you, when you kick an anthill, all the ants start swarming out. As far as my computer can load this without like getting too crazy. Jesus. Oh, I'm out of fireworks. Okay, let me despawn all these guys. Now I'll, let's pray that fixed the issue. Yep. That didn't work. Uh, I guess the easiest way to fix this is just figure out how many of these portals are linking to the factory access portal. I'm gonna start here. Hopefully this one's not linking to it, but we'll find out. Okay, good. So it's not even that many portals. It's gotta be like two or three. So that one doesn't connect. Maybe this one. Yeah, okay. So that's unfortunate. I have to make the farm literally 25% less powerful, which, you know, so that brings it down from what? 600,000 items an hour to, to 450,000 items an hour. So what? Big deal. All right, let me grab some sponges so we can remove this. Wait, I actually don't even need sponges. I just need to break these portals. Crap. I just realized I do actually have to remove all these portals and water sources and everything. Because if I don't, when I'm AFKing, the mob cap will eventually get filled up by guardians who aren't getting teleported through portals, and then the farm will just literally not work. I actually hit my life. Okay, uh, whatever, dude. I guess I'll just, um, you know, get to work. I don't think I can, else I can really do. And so I spent the next two hours destroying 25% of the farm and spilling water everywhere. But with that annoyance behind me, I got the materials I needed to make the factory, and we could start building. I didn't want this factory to look too much like the redstone factory, so I used some brick and stuff to give it more of like that classic factory look instead of the futuristic look that the redstone one had. Okay, and the factory casing's done. I could not for the life of me figure out how to cover this and make it look good. So I decided I'll just leave it like this. It's kind of annoying though. It's just blocking the front of this. But anyway, now we have the storage looking nice. I could probably make this portal wide again too, which will just look better. But I'll add some designs here to kind of add some extra detail to the portal. 
Okay, this looks really good. Next, we gotta finish the top of the boat here. And after a few more hours of building, the aircraft carrier was really starting to come together. Okay, we're almost done with the boat. We finished with the tarmac, and I love all the details of this thing. It looks so sick. Anyway, the last thing we have to do is build the control room, which is like right here. But before that, some of you OGs to the channel may remember the video from my last series where I built a sea lantern farm. And I built a giant guardian that we got like all the resources out of, or that's how it was supposed to be. And I think I want to do that again. But this time I'll have him laying right here, kind of like they just fished him out of the ocean. So let's go get some materials. I need a bunch of prismarine bricks, prismarine, stripped wart logs, a bunch of concrete, and even a few snow blocks. And then I had to mine a bunch of copper, smelt it, and then craft it into blocks, and then lay it out in the nether like this so that I could oxidize as quickly as possible. Give me that nice teal color. Okay, we got all the materials. Let's start this build. Now, I'm building the thing up pretty normally, but in the front, I'm putting this mouth here, and I'm also putting an X in the eye so you know it's dead. I'm also gonna build up these straps so that the Guardian is kind of nailed down to the boat, so theoretically it wouldn't, like, slide off the side of the boat if it were to rock, you know? Kinda, kinda add some more realism to the build. And boom, the Guardian is complete. He's all chained down, so he's not going anywhere. And he's dead anyway, so I guess it, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, next what I'm gonna do is actually cut away this part of the floor so that we can have access to the hangar where the portal is. So let me remove all these blocks. Okay, now I need to get like a bunch of different red colored blocks and then some bone blocks as well. So let's go grab all of that stuff. Okay, and first we'll put some stairs that go down like this. And I'll use these bone blocks to build a kind of rib cage that goes across this hall. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now I want to make it look like there's like guts spilling out of the side here. So we'll use the red stuff that we got to try to make it look like that as much as possible. What the hell is going on? My game is bugging out. Everything's still there. It's just, oh my God, I can't see anything. Oh, okay, it stopped. Oh, bro, huh? what the hell just happened? I've never seen that before. Have you guys ever seen that? What the f Okay, anyway, back to work. I also threw in a little bit of detailing on the walls just because I thought they were kind of blank, needed some detail. And uh, yeah, you see that word? You should, uh, you should definitely go do that. And the last thing I need to add is the command center for the whole carrier. Okay, and the boat should be pretty much done. But if you haven't noticed, aircraft carriers are typically military vehicles. And if you haven't noticed, there's not a single gun or weapon on board. So I think we need to fix that by adding a TNT cannon right in the center of the command center. Of course, a TNT cannon's probably not gonna fit in this thing. It's a little narrow. So what we'll do instead is dig straight down and put it way underground under the ocean. And you may be thinking that it may decrease how high we get shot in the air, but trust me, it won't. This cannon is pretty powerful. And we'll dig out a room like this. I need it to be about this big. Well, let me cover these walls with concrete really quick so it actually looks nice. Okay, this should be enough space. Now I just need to grab a bunch of gray concrete, some redstone, some dispensers, observers, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, water buckets, levers, and one quartz stair. I also got a bunch of TNT to load up the cannon with. And with all our materials collected, I built up the cannon and got prepared to fire. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Okay, maybe by putting a tube in some slabs, it'll keep me in place. Let's try this again. Holy sh dude. I think it works. Oh my God. I gotta try that again. I wanna see how high up I was. 847 blocks, I think is the highest. And minus one totem. Well, it works. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.